get off the ground? Was that pretty good? Dude, it felt good. Okay, you guys know Jerry. Jerry's having a rough go of things. Jerry wrecked his little Ford Ranger. He has a little green Ford Ranger that he raced against our LS Swap Ford Ranger. And you know what? It's almost Christmas time, so we got Jerry a present. I'm a tenant change, I gotta set it straight. I had to drop a couple Williams on the tennis chain. Had to make the image levitate to keep him at the day. What the deal is, I'm gonna invite Jerry over here. I'm gonna put this thing in the garage and I'm gonna walk in. I'm like, Jerry, what do you think of my new Ford Ranger? And he's probably gonna be like, it's nice. And I'm like, well, Jerry, here's the deal. It's your Ford Ranger and I'm gonna hand him the keys. Bam, he's gonna have a Ford Ranger again. Hello. What are you doing, Jerry? Are you okay? Are you still sad about Little Green? Yeah, I'm are, really sad. Are you really sad? Jerry, I've never seen you sad in my life. Hey, that's depressing. I don't have no truck. And then it was my fault, so my insurance had to pay for her car. Plus, uh, her daughter went to the hospital. How hard did you hit him, Jerry? She hit me. So what are you gonna do with a little green? I'm getting rid of it. Oh my God, are you gonna cry? Probably. You don't have right. a Ford Ranger for sale, do you? No, I don't have no Ford Rangers for sale. There was one up there in Hayesville for 2,500. It was an extended cab. Was it, would you want an extended cab Ford Ranger? Oh, that would be awesome. Really? Well, hey, uh, I need you to come up here. My freaking fuse box is getting ready to catch fire here in the shop. I need you to look at it real quick tonight. I'll be there. Jerry, what kind of car did you hit? An 016 car. Why Dana. couldn't you hit a cheaper one? The lady was feeding. It was her fault. So the green, yeah. the green bean's done? Oh yeah, I'm so sad. Unless you bring her back to life. Jerry, I lied to you. What? There's nothing wrong with the breaker box. Really? Merry Christmas. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. That's your new Ford Ranger. Extended cab and everything. You told me you wanted an extended cab. Do I just get it again and drive? Yeah, you get, well, you gotta put a tag on it. It doesn't have a tag. How cool is that? <laughs> Don't cry, Jerry. It's okay. Is this a fast one? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Oh my God. Like it? I love it. Man, that is awesome. And I even said extended cap. I know, extended cap and everything, here you go. We'll put insurance on it in case you wreck it. <laughs> and it's automatic too. It's automatic. Well. It doesn't start, but we'll work on that. <laughs> and that's awesome. And it really does blow cold air. It does. Well, it's cold outside, but you know. <laughs> Look at that headline. Look, it don't even have the stuff to fall on your head. I'll take that out because I was so used to not having one. <laughs> Man, you hooked me up. I appreciate it. No, no You're problem. Right. Oh, oh. There's the keys. Oh, yeah. Let me grab you the title. Pete now, boys. That's reverse. Oh. <laughs> That's not drive. There you go. See? All right, everything's right in the world. Jerry's got a Ford Ranger. Most people might not know this, but this is practically one of them six wheel drive G-Wagons. You gotta get the army truck out of the mud because it's gotta go do a top secret mission that the bulldozer's also doing top secret missions too. Don't worry, you guys will see it. It's gonna be great, but we gotta get it out of here. Okay, massive air leak in the dash, check. Still stuck, check. So not only are we gonna need to fix that, we're gonna need something to pull this bad boy out. But never fear, because while you guys weren't looking, I bought another shitty army truck. This one looks a lot better, but runs a lot worse. The guys that sold it to me said, oh yeah, it's a great army truck. And then after the auction was over, they're like, so you probably better bring a trailer. <laughs> oh, she almost went.
feel so manly doing that. If you don't come out right now, this rope is gonna be goodbye. I broke the rope and I broke this truck. It just died. Did it even move? Yeah, hold on, shut it off. We're gonna, we're gonna have to get a new plan. That was my nicest rope I had. Well, let's... Can we tie it a knot? Let's get the rest of it tied in a knot and see what happens. That sounds like a good idea. Let's do that. Yeah! All right, go ahead. Pull more a little bit. I think the tranny just locked up in this one. Every time I throw it into gear, it kills it. You mean to say we've got two that are stuck now? This one's not stuck, it's broken. But look, Fred is completely mobile and a good machine. I bet you I can jump it right off that creek bank right there. I'll go out there, line up, and then whoop, bam, jump it. You're on your own. Why is everybody getting out when I set my... A machine! Did I even get a foot off the ground? No, I wouldn't say a foot. A couple inches. Did I get a couple inches? A couple inches. I need to hit it harder. Oh, oh yeah. That was a little bit of air right oh there. Oh my god. Dude. That was a little bit of air. Ow! Oh, god, I need a helmet. Well, see, that's why I got it. Why well, won't the door open? Fred for the win! Dude, it felt like I was gonna flip over for a second. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Was... Let's do that again. That was fun. I got a new toy! <laughs> <laughs> if that can't get this thing out, nothing can. Literally, that thing can lift like 17,000 pounds. Like, it should be able to just lift this thing out of this hole. One out, one more to go. Thing I was trying to do. Put the bucket and tilt it as far forward as possible and pull the chain back and then see if you can use that to lever it back. Run across transfer case. Pop the pop the on that side. All right, when we pull this up, get ready to look for a rat. All right. Now. Oh hey. Well, there's a rat's nest. Where? Man, he had a palace building this bad boy. Oh wait. That's like a 13 bedroom estate for a rat. A God, damn. You better be careful. That rat's gonna bring a whole tree under there with it. That's a big old hole. My truck can make it through this. What's going on? I don't know about that. Your truck can make it through this? Yes. That's pretty deep, buddy. Okay, so you want to see if your truck will make it through? Uh, I guarantee I can make it through a part right, of this. Let's go. No, I said no, a part no, of no, it. no, 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 no. <laughs> you're, uh, you're starting to add things in here. You said your truck can make it through this. I got full motor. drive for a reason. Wait for the transfer case. Let's wait for the clunk. Oh, no, what I tell you, clunk? Yeah. It's a full wheel drive. There you go, boy. Found a different hole. <laughs> now we're not in four wheel drive. So now we're in four wheel drive. I heard the clunk using four wheel drive first time. That looks like one wheel drive, my man. That's one wheel drive. You need to the other, you need to kick in. You need, to kick, you need to kick in the other three. So how'd that go? How do you feel about your off-roading capability of the the Chevy pickup. I didn't know it was that deep right there or else I wouldn't have took that deal. Is this, you know, and then we is just that kinda, what he's talking about? That's where he got stuck. Dude, that's nothing. Parker's lifted super forester will go across that. All right, Parker, let's see it. It looks a little deeper from in here. Come on, <laughs> come yeah. on, it's fine. I know what I'm talking about. Oh! Oh my God, how was that? Well, keep going forward, you're good. Oh my God! Remember what just got stuck there a minute ago? I did. Easy, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> See, the problem with this is we need more speed going the other direction. But Humvee made it up this fine. See? We need more speed.
I might have blown it up. <laughs> How did I break it? I, that was a that was a preliminary jump just to see if it would do it. Okay, I'll be honest, that was a pretty lame jump. So, I fired up the loader and I started building something amazing. Before I knew it, I had built a new launch pad for our Raptor that even Elon Musk would look onto and envy. All I have to do now is see if this bad boy will fly. Okay, never mind. I was feeling like a pussy that time. Okay, this the, the next time though. The next time I really did it get... to get off the ground was that pretty good dude it felt good i don't know how far it flew but it seemed like it flew a long ways it seemed like i was just sitting there in air and i'm like <gasps> dude it's sad to say that we're selling this bad boy now i'll be honest tested it out all the shocks work the springs work the flying systems of the raptor they work perfectly this thing is practically ready for the air force to slap an f-22 on the side of it put some missiles under it and go shoot down enemy airplanes all right we figured it out it's good at flying 